Welcome to Baseline Scientific. My name is Paul Scanlon and I'm going to show you what can be seen in the March night sky. We start with look at the moon and the occultations that occur during the month. Then I'll take you on a tour of the planets and we'll finish off with an update of Comet Lulin. Let's get straight into it with a look at the phases of the moon. The month starts with a waxing crescent. First quarter is on the 4th. Full moon is on the 11th. Last quarter is on the 18th. And we finish the month with a new moon on the 26th of March. On March the 3rd, the 5.4 magnitude star Zeta Taurus will be occulted by the Moon. At 2254 UT, the star will disappear behind the dark rim of the first quarter Moon. So it's a good target to start the month. There will be some Moon glare but this should not be too much of a problem. Look towards Taurus at about 27 degrees above the horizon. On the night of the 6th, at about 0302 UT, the 6.5 magnitude star HP 31850 will disappear behind the dark rim of the Moon. However, at only 10 degrees above the horizon, it will probably be only observable to those in the north of the country. It's also quite a short duration, as it's occulted close to the southern pole of the Moon. Also on the 6th, at 2318 UT, HP 36690, a 6.5 magnitude star, will be occulted very close to the North Lunar Pole. This time, it's those in the south of the country who will have the best observing positions. Now, let's look at the planets for March. Mercury starts the month as a morning object rising in Capricorn. It rises not long before the Sun, so it will be difficult to observe. However, if you get the chance in the morning of the 2nd, it will appear within 1 degree of Mars. But do take care, as day by day Mercury will rise later and closer to the Sun. It's probably not worth observing this month. Don't take any risks with your eyesight. By the end of March, on the 31st, Mercury will be in superior conjunction. Well, for the past few weeks, Venus has given us a spectacular display in the evening sky. But having passed greatest brilliance on the 19th of February, it is now becoming dimmer and setting much earlier. As it comes closer to the Earth in its orbit, its dark side is beginning to face us, so there will be less to see. By the 27th, Venus will be in inferior conjunction, so will be becoming a morning object. Mars is still creeping away from the morning sun. Although it's now at a fair angle from the sun, it rises only shortly beforehand, so it will be lost in glare. We have to wait another few months before it's worth observing. Jupiter is also a morning object, and like Mars, is still washed out in the morning glare. Saturn now rises in the early evening. Situated in Leo, it can be seen for all of the night, setting just after sunrise. 
it passes the meridian at about 045 UT and is a magnitude 0 0.9 so will easily be visible with the naked eye. By the end of the month Saturn will pass the meridian at about 2250 UT so you may only have a few weeks left before it sets too early and the skies brighten. Don't forget that this year the rings are edge on but don't let that put you off. Saturn is always a rewarding sight. Uranus, although an evening object, sets very close to the Sun, so will not be observable. Neptune, like Mars and Jupiter, is not well placed, rising close to the Sun. It's not observable this month. Now, let's have a look at Comet Lulin. Comet Lulin is currently the brightest comet that may be seen and should be visible with the naked eye. Although it was at its closest approach to Earth during February, it is still a good imaging target. At the start of March, Lulin is in Cancer, so if you watch it night by night, you will see it move against the background stars. By the 10th of March, it will have moved into Gemini, look between the stars Pollux and Procyon. As mentioned, Lulin was closest to the Earth in February, so it is now moving away. This not only means it's getting dimmer, but will also change in apparent motion across the sky. If you get a chance, compare the difference in nightly positions at the start of March to that at the end. You'll see that it appears to slow down. If, if you've, you've never, never seen, seen a comet, comet before, have a look with, have a look with binoculars, binoculars on a clear, on a clear night. night. It's well worth, it's it. Well worth it. And we'll hope to, and we show, hope you to some show you images some images next month. Next month. Well, that's, that's it, it for this month. month. I Thanks hope you for enjoyed watching. the programme. If you have joined we'll us be back through next YouTube month for the April please edition. do have a look at our website. So I hope you'll join us www.bybaseline-scientific.com We'll be back for the April edition, so I hope you'll join us then. See you next month. Goodbye.